We're here with Steve Schultz at the National Farm Toy Show. And uh, once again, he's got some great custom pieces. We got a bunch of Alice Chalmers things to look at, so I guess we'll get started, Steve. Okay. We'll start with a uh, 7020 chopper I built. It has both the hay head and the corn head with attachable to it. Some of the features on this unit, I'll open this up here. You can see the knife sharpener, which can be moved back and forth across the knives. You can close the lid here and you can adjust the height on the knife sharpener by turning the handle. Oh, wow. I also can you, can you open that up there again? Sure. Uh, we'll get in there and see the working pieces. That is, that is some great detail. We also have the access door in the back here to get into the knives. And we also have the access door back here to get to all the working components. Just like the real thing. Other features on this chopper, unfortunately this had broke on me so I can't run it. But if you can turn this rod here, you can turn the deflector. Mm. And that moves back and forth. I also have a jack that you can position at different heights here. So putting the lever down. And one of my signature pieces I have on here is a uh, PTO, a sliding PTO shaft, which I put put on all my uh, toys that... Sure. Then you have the, the corn head here and the uh, hay pickup. So. The next piece I have on here is a 303 baler. Now this is a piece that I've had for a while and I've had it all detail parts, even to the point that you can put the, uh, I need to spin it this way, but you can run the knotter up into the chamber. Oh, there you go. I'll back get down. The side so we can see that. Wow. So are these uh, kind of late 1960s pieces or early uh, 70s? Actually, early 70s. Okay. Early right, 70s. Right at the end. Uh, opening climb box in here. And I can take this off. I have the plunger. That's movable in there. Mm. Adjustable on the hitch. Boy, that's a lot of detail in there. Well, I tried to try to make everything look as realistic as possible. Sure. Two pieces that I just finished, which a lot of people probably don't realize Alice Chalmers made, is fertilizer spreaders. This is the larger of the two the 804F and I believe this one was probably made for Alice Chalmers. I don't think Alice Chalmers made it itself because I can't find any sales literature on it and when I looked at the parts breakdown they didn't show the decals on this box where its little brother had the decals on it and basically to run this it just has a lever here that uh, tightens the press wheel onto the main wheel. Now, what time period would this have been available? Uh, I would say probably the late 60s. This has one feature that I'm going to try to start doing more of. The belt here, I've made my own belt here. Wow. V-belt. Uh, because I couldn't find anything that was long enough to reach here. So hopefully from now on most of my toys I'm going to put on an actual V-belt that's nice. made out of rubber and string so it won't stretch. Wow. So it's made just like so, a regular belt. Now is there detail on the inside too where the fertilizer comes out? And, uh, uh, you don't see much in here but you can see the chain that runs all the way through. Right. And that does go the entire length of the V-belt. Very nice. And this little brother here is very similar. Again with the press wheel that goes down. This I do have uh, sales literature on, so I know this is an actual piece that Alice Chalmers made themselves and sold. So it had the 804F was a big one. And, and the 402F. Yeah. Very nice, and that has the spinner on the back and rated floor and chain. Mm -hmm. yep. And then we'll move down to the 
chopper box that I just finished. Uh, it doesn't have too many movable features. Now the um, over here on this side, you've got all the sprockets and gears, and right. the panel closes and opens. Right. And then, uh, is it movable um, on loading? Belt too, or no? The chain does not move. But okay. The uh, that loader tilts up. The loader yeah. tilts up. Again, the PTO can be moved out. It can slide back and forth. I'm not in position to do it right here. Also, the ratcheting lever can be moved to different positions. Mm. Well, I think I'm ready to go out and put that <laughs> chopper on a 210 or something and hook up the wagon. Sure looks good, Steve. Thank you. And then we have a large wagon that Alice Helmers made. Features on this is a hoist here, which is posable to different positions. Also, in the back, we have a door that actually slides and opens and closes. And if I remove the pins here, you can open the whole back door. Very nice. Well, thank you very much for the tour. Uh, quite look forward to maybe, I guess you'll be at St. Louis. And yes, I will. We'll see what comes out in 2011. Uh, hopefully, I'll have some prizes coming next year. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Steve. You're welcome. Yeah.